Meanwhile, here at home, three murder victims will not be forgotten in Kansas City. That's according to friends and family who held balloon releases to bring attention to their case. As detectives work around the clock to find their killer, KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan speaks with the loved ones left behind. Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus. Sharing prayers, memories, and tears. I know Tyler, if she was here, she'd have loved it. Friends of three family members killed this week celebrated their lives by releasing balloons on two occasions Saturday. First, classmates from Central High School. She was very kind. She was, to me, she was a people person. She would open anybody up to her with open arms and... Yeah, she was really sweet. She loved everybody. She was so nice. Later, Tyla Ransom's boyfriend organized another release, saying he enjoyed every second with Tyla, including a recent trip to Miami. And when I seen it, it was just her face. She always told me it was my eyes. Friends tell us Tyla Ransom, her older brother Jalen, and their mother Shirley were killed inside a home near 32nd and Woodland Thursday. Police have not yet confirmed their identities, and without a suspect in custody, no one can answer why the shooting happened. It's just sad to see someone that, you know, another black successful person that could have been out here helping the society or helping the community gone again. High school friend Destiny Evans hopes the balloon releases keep a spotlight on the case. Hoping that someone will speak up and see that she has people out here that love her and people that are also going to be willing to help the police to take them down, you know, because at the end of the day, she was an innocent person and she was, you know, going to be another black queen out here. Now that black queen is getting some final encouragement from her fellow Eagles. Fly high, tie. In Kansas City, Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.